problem, colleagues. Why there is such a problem in this crisis? Because member states are reluctant to transfer new sovereignty and powers to the European Union. And we all know that the only way out of this crisis is a new transfer of powers to the European Union and to the European Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today we would be talking about what Ireland and how it's lost its independence and how things are getting worse. Not only have we lost our sovereignty, our independence, our neutrality, everything that belonged to this country, we are now underway on a mass destruction of our population. We are being replaced on a massive scale. The genocide has begun through the UN. So we'll go through why and what through the EU and the UN the mass destruction and plantation of North Africans and Eastern countries, Middle Eastern countries are being flooded into Ireland. Even though the war in Syria is over, they're calling them Syrian families. They all turn out to be North African males that are Muslims. So this is what our plantation is. Our, there is a genocide on the Irish population. It's very, very scary and sad times. So we'll read through some of the things that have been happening. The EU elections, according to Guy Vashart, one of the, he is actually like Hitler. He goes on to say, this is the last chance to kill off nationalism. Nationalism is something Ireland fought for 800 years. So he, he's now on his poll that they kill off nationalists and people who love their country and to kill populism. Really, absolutely. It is like a speech from Hitler. Guy Vahosky calling for the end of sovereignty of people's countries. He goes on to say, backing a vision of a EU super state. They're wanting to take take charge of other countries, of all the countries in the EU and expand it in the May elections. He goes on to call it the, for the revival of Europe. Now that Europe was never one country. Europe under Hitler tried to do that. But it, he didn't succeed as well as the EU are doing. And there's a lot more to come. Under this guy for Husky, Junker, Tusk, and the moron, and Hell Hitler herself, Myrtle, it has been a complete destruction. And it's been very sad and really stomach wrenching but now the genocide begins it will become like what poland um, and eastern european countries went through we are going through like um, a socialism a socialism state which will be this ridiculous liberal which there's nothing liberal they've just robbed words which have no meaning to it because they're completely doing everything that they say they hate which they are becoming a fascism they are a fascism state so i will tell you what they they tend to do brussels take over they're not even shy about it they're not even you know pretending they want the eu army they want to take people's borders people's countries borders and they want to organize the internet now why do you think that is you will not be allowed to speak out. I've been saying this for ages now. You will not be able to allow talk. It is Nazism. It's socialism. It's communism. You will be arrested for speaking out. But even at that, they were going to shut off anything to do with being proud of your country or anything to do with your culture. They're going to destroy everything from history about who your country was like for us the celtic irish everything about our ways and it's becoming in a european way they call it in a european way in a european way because europe was all very different cultures there wasn't just one but they're going to melt it completely down and destroy everything we are on a very much way to a destruction and unfortunately, we have no one in government, as I've been saying. Things are getting scary now.
Um, he goes on to say the populist nightmare, which is anybody who has half a brain, will become a reality, meaning this will become like a social state, socialist state, where borders will be closed once they have flooded you and they have broken your culture and your identity and your culture and destroyed every single thing about your past, your culture. They're going to change from Ireland to being a white Christian country. They've already began taking down crosses. It will become a black Muslim country within a very short time. The Irish indigenous population will be a minority within a few years. It's in our lifetime. And nobody will be allowed to speak out about it. They're planning on blocking populism and nationalists. Asked why does he think that there's a rise for so-called populism and nationalists. He blames the internet and for people loving their culture. So he wants an end to that. It's so, so disturbing. Hitler would have written this out. It's absolutely crazy. Endorsing EU, purging the internet. So they, they planted to just basically control the internet and, and block whatever they don't want and stop it. Literally anything. The lack of courage, he calls, is the problem. Why people have gone in why they feel that they're nationalists. It's a lack of courage. On Brussels half, he wants them to penalise and shut down conservative voices, such as Hungarian Prime Minister. And what he's calling for is that the EU army go into these countries and take over. This is really, really scary talk, people. If he doesn't agree with you, if the EU doesn't agree with you, and that you love your country and your culture and you want to to protect it. He's talking about an, an army to go into these countries and to shut them down, basically. Because he, he, there's only his vision, there's only the EU vision, and that's it. You can't have be a conservative or a nationalist or be, have any pride in your country. They want to completely get rid of the white population, the white Christian population in Europe. They want the creation of a single Euro African economic area, he goes on to. And the reason he explains that this is a good idea is that um, the, the EU for China, that it will be able to compete economically. EU Africa, Euro Africa state. That is what they're going for. It's pretty scary. He's talking about replacing us. Um, and because Ireland was a white Christian country, we've been very much targeted. Um, we are seeing the end of our days. Our Everything about our country has been taken. But now the people, the actually indigenous Irish, are being taken. And as I've said before, that they will hire and replace the Irish population in jobs with the African Muslim. This, this country within 20 years will be African and Muslim. It is scary and sad days and any country that's strong like Hungary will either be forced into some sort of war, civil war, where the EU army will go in. It, it's crazy times. Listening to Irish News Radio at irishnews.net. Email news at irishnews.net.